Hi Aries, this is Marishi Yamasha of Suluka. Let's see what is your situation as a man and what you need to hear from me. It is out there, someone arising Venus. What is it that you need to hear from me? Just one more time. Alright. Aries out there. Your first card is the King of Pentacles, which is your energy as well. Some of you might be dealing with a Taurus or an Aries. Okay, strong Taurus energy as well. There is something which is being offered. Someone is initiating something, okay, offering something which will bring about that stability in your life. It could be a job offer which will make you financially stable. Because the King of Pentacles is somebody who is financially stable and secure. He has everything. He is abundant. He doesn't have to worry about money. Okay? And if you look at this card, there is this person who is very generous. He's very rich. And he has so much to spare that he's helping out these poor people who is kneeling down and asking for help. So you feel like there is something which is being offered to you, which is going to change the course of your life. Okay? Could be a job situation, business situation, whatever it is. There is an opportunity. And it is coming in fast. It flipped around. I did not even pull it out. Knight of Swords. Fastest moving knight in this deck. It is happening quickly. Again, Taurus Gemini energy. Strong Taurus uh, energy in your reading. I'm not even kidding with you. Something big is coming your way. It's a massive opportunity. It has the potential, okay, to shift things around, to make things better. All right. And the thing is, you don't have to wait too much. It's on its way. Ooh, okay. Ace of Cups, along with the Tower. It's, it's, it's going to... You know, when it, is, uh, when it is being offered, it is going to shake up your world. You are going to be happy. Because this is, cup, this is a cup full of happiness. It is brimming over. It's almost like a blessing which is going to shake up your world. Uh, two of cups. Some of you might be getting married. Some of you might be getting proposed to. Someone is coming in to offer that commitment. It's going to make you really happy. It's going to, I spoke about bringing a shift in your life. If you were single, you're not going to be anymore. If you were unemployed, you're not going to be anymore. Okay? Your next card is this one. This one? For a very long time, you were holding on to uh, something which was important for you. Like you were not willing to let go. Things were not working out, but yet you kept putting in the work. You wanted it to work out. And now things are just happening. You are going to succeed no matter what. With this coming your way, it's, it's like you being rewarded for, you know, holding on. How much ever messed up the situation was, you did not give up. Okay, you did not want this coin to slip out of your hand. Some of you might have been financially in a very bad situation. But you kept, you know, pinching your pennies and striving. And it's going to pay off. Okay, some of you might be dealing with a Capricorn or a Leo. Yes, uh, this is something which you manifested. It's just not happening out of the blue. Okay, you worked for it. You wanted to manifest this. You put in everything you could and now it is paying off. Beautiful cards. Even if it jumped out, beautiful cards. It is for you. All right. Some of you might be dealing with a Cancerian. All right, what is your next card, please? Aries out there, what is your next card? Your next card is this one. You will be 
be sitting like the empress, abundant, you know, content, satisfied with your life. Everything which you want, you have it. You're sitting pretty like the empress. Okay. Along with the nine of cups, your dream is getting fulfilled. For some of you, if uh, you know, if you're proposing to someone, this person, this uh, it is surrounding this empress, this lady, is your dream, is your wish, and that is going to be fulfilled. You're going to be happy about all this. <sighs> When I'm looking at the strength card, you're building up the courage to make this happen. To make your dream fulfilled. Or make your dream, you know, materialize. Yeah, for some of you, it is a job situation. For some of you, it's a relationship because it's showing all angles. Someone is going to make this person their empress. Okay, because they always wanted wanted to make them the empress. This was their dream. And now they're making it happen. Okay, some of you might be dealing with a Pisces. All right, Aries, what is your next card, please? Your next card is this one. Uh... Uh, I would say you are trying to contemplate. Okay, whoever was holding on to this dream of theirs, they were they are in this contemplation mode, making that decision. How do I approach them? How do I make this happen? Because this person is still blindfolded. They have a decision to make. They want to extend this uh, you know. It, it's almost like I feel like they want to reach out to this person and say, I want to make you my wife or I want to make you my husband. Yeah, I, I, you know, I want to be back together. But there is this process of making that decision. How do I approach them? Now strategizing. All right. So in the process of making that decision, how to go about it? Yes. You are going to trust your intuition. You will be guided from within. How to step up. Okay. You will be guided. You don't need anybody's help. Okay. Because uh, this is a card number two and this is a card number two. It's like two people coming together. Don't worry about it. You will be guided. Okay. Uh, whatever it is, it is somebody from the past. You had happy times once upon a time. Right now, I don't feel it's there anymore. You are pretty much separated. But somebody is wanting to, uh, you know, shift things around. Make things happen. Because they realize this is their dream person. This is what they want in life. And they're going to step up and do something about it. Your next card is this one. Ooh. Ooh. I don't like that energy here in the last position. Along with a fool. Mm. It's very important for you to offer them something solid, okay? Whatever your decision is going to be, it needs to be solid enough. Because this is childlike energy. The Page of Cups is a childlike energy, very naive, very innocent, very, you know? Uh, kind of flaky as well. 
along with a fool card. So I, I would just bluntly put it, whatever you want, you need to be sure about it. You cannot be foolish about how you approach this person because that freaking person is an empress. She knows what she's worth. Okay? So if you want them back in your life, you need to give them something solid enough itself. So make the right decision. How do you approach them? Because when this card came up, they showed me the Ace of Wands again. Okay? How are you going to approach them? Please make it a foolproof plan. Do not be foolish. Do not take it very light. Do not take them very light. Okay? Because this is a very flaky energy for me, along with that full card. I wouldn't be impressed. Neither would the Empress be impressed. Okay? So, think it through. Okay? Before you step up, think it through. Because you might have just one chance. Don't fuck it up. Okay. Because I don't see you guys together right now. It's pretty much out in the cold. But if you want them back, you know, do something really impressive. That they really want to be back with you. They, they want to see you have changed. You're being serious. You've matured. Because this is a very childlike energy. Which is very immature. Okay? Don't play around. I just broke the deck. Okay, you can see the four of cups here. They wouldn't like it. If you play around, they are not going to like this. It broke right in the center. Okay, what are you going to offer? Because I'll show you up close. There is a cup which is coming through. Okay? And this person is like... Not impressed. You know, literally rejecting what is being offered. So don't be confident that whatever you're going to offer, they will be okay with. You know? Because you are planning to offer something. They would, they would be somebody who will say no. Because she is an empress. Okay? So treat her like an empress. That's it for now. This is Marishi Yamachal Shiloka. Until next time. Bye-bye.